Hi everyone. Yeah, long time since I did anything like this, but uh, today we're going to be opening uh, open up a box that arrived today, which should be my new crash helmet, which should look like this one here on a piece of paper. It's uh, a helmet I bought from Pat Skeleton. Skeleton. It's a uh, very good company, by the way. Um, it's a flip front helmet. I've never had a flip front helmet before. But I've recently started playing around with small motorbikes again. More on that with another video, perhaps in a little while. Um, but I wear spectacles now, so the idea of a flip front helmet seemed uh, seemed quite good. So what we'll do is we'll uh, set it up and uh, open up the box and let you have a look at uh, what's arrived. Okay, so here's the box. Um, I hope you've got a good view of it from the camera. I'm just going to take off the outer covering to see what we've got inside. Uh, hoping for great things here. I've actually got, believe it or not, four wearable crash helmets in the other room. Only one of which is uh, road legal here in the uh, in the UK. All the others are for motorsport. So, quite excited about this one. Download the manual and win rewards. It says. Well, let's see how we get on with, uh, with opening the box first of all. Let's get rid of this black plastic outer cover. Let's dispose of that. Okay, the box is a bit battered. You can see there, look, the handle's a little bit battered. Um, hopefully, that means it's been out but not worn or used or damaged. It's a great helmet, it was a good price. Um, I got a 15% introductory discount on it which um, brought it down to I think £102 and uh, this company called uh, again Pat Skeleton only charged me 99p for uh, for delivery okay so here it is all nicely encased in its uh, this little bag so I'll just move the box out of the way uh, inside the box we've got some paperwork for the style and the invoice etc piece of gel stuff and we've got a pin lock anti-fogging screen which I think goes on the inside of the, the actual visor to stop, uh, stop it misting up in the uh, colder and wetter weather. Also we've got a couple of uh, yeah, stickers. What are these for? I think these are something to do with that anti-fog thing to be honest. Uh, I don't know that. Perhaps not. Right, here we go then, the important bit. Let's have a look. Nice, this is a nice thick quality bag to be honest. That's good, I like that. And there's the helmet itself. Doesn't she look beautiful from this angle? If I can get it out of the, uh, the bag. Not always easy with these things, is it? Look at that, that is so well protected. A few stickers here. Now this one, I'm, I believe, is road legal in the UK to be worn as a fully closed, fully faced helmet or also with the visor section off, which would make it an open face helmet, um, which for the price is quite unusual. Well there she is, look. Doesn't that look beautiful? I haven't got a clue how anything works. Um, and I don't see any... Uh, instructions readily or easily available but my word that's a beautiful looking helmet isn't it it's um it's got the flip up visor at the front there you go so you can uh, put it on and you can use it as a uh, an open faced helmet lovely quick release strap there that can be operated with gloves and inside we've got this other switch here which brings down if you can see it in there yet another uh, I don't know why that should go further on than that I think. Let me have a quick look see if I can work that out. Uh, yeah, it's got to go up further than that to be uh, to be viable. And I'm not sure why it's not going up. Something to do with these catches here perhaps. I don't know. I'll have to work on that one. But uh, there you go, titanium, 
lovely matte titanium finish, lovely, lovely quality helmet, and hopefully it will be uh, friendly enough for me to uh, to be able to uh, use with my glasses because wearing spectacles these days is a bit of a, a pain in the butt to be honest. I don't know why that's not coming up further. It just seems a bit strange that. That's the internal one. Um, no. No doubt I'll find out. Perhaps I'll come back and uh, show you. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've downloaded the manual, which was pretty useless. Um, so in order to find out a bit more, I just went on to uh, onto YouTube and uh, had a look in. You know, it, it just appears that you have to be a bit firm with this uh, chin lock system. So you just get, obviously open it the way I showed you before with this little button down here. Uh, it only comes up that far before you get some resistance and then you just have to overcome that resistance and open it up. And as you can see, it's a well padded, really nicely well made helmet. Brilliant. Lots of air, air uh, flow. And of course, as we said before, we got this lovely sun visor that comes down when, uh, when the weather gets dark. Hopefully that will cover my glasses and will be uh, nice and easy to get the helmet on and off. Uh, just the same. Okay, so a bit firm to close it as well. And then have a quick look at the vents. It's got a vent on the chin here, which you can see. Uh, a vent on the forehead, forehead level, which goes through those little vent holes there. Uh, all in all, for the price, I got a 15% discount on it when I bought it. And as I said, 99p carriage, so it worked out at, uh, well, basically 103 pounds for a lovely modular helmet, uh, which I'm really gonna enjoy. I've recently purchased uh, a Lexmoto Tempest uh, Scrambler, they call it. Uh, nice little bike, nice and cheap. I've got a used one because I'm only recently back on the bike. In fact, I had to take a, a CBT test in order to ride it because it's a 125. And although I've been riding around on a 50C equivalent moped for quite some time now, fully licensed. But there you go, more of that later, and uh, perhaps uh, when I show you the bike on a future video, I'll give you some idea of uh, what I'm hoping to do with it, which is basically try and discover as many uh, BOAT roads, uh, ways, byways, that's it, byways, in uh, the local, or fairly local area, which is Buckinghamshire, possibly Bedfordshire, Nottinghamshire, uh, not Nottinghamshire, Northamptonshire. Uh, could be interesting. I've got some downloaded some information already, but more of that in a future video. Thanks for watching. Hope it was uh, helpful, and uh, speak soon.